like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole, and if you're new, welcome to Do Dream More. And if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so today we are going to be doing a tutorial on making this 12-month calendar. I call this She's Got a Covered Girl Boss Calendar. We're going to be using this format, okay? I was going to do this one, but for the sake of time, we're going to do the easiest one. So what we're going to do is go to templates and the template that we actually use is turquoise and purple bowl classroom calendar. Okay, that's the template. So we're going to go ahead and recreate this beautiful, beautiful cover here. So first things first, let's add a new page. Let's arrow it up. And then we're going to use our color scheme. The color scheme we're going to be doing today is a pale pink impreza. Okay, so I jotted down the colors that I use so I can make sure I'm using the exact same colors. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add an element of a square. And I use square a lot because we could change squares into almost anything we want. So we're going to go ahead and put that up. And I'm going to be going back and forth so I can make sure I'm doing it correctly. Now this is going to be purple. This color purple, this is a Hicks code. As I always state with all my tutorials, I'm assuming you have a little bit of Canva background. So that's just the easiest way for me to go about it. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please comment below and I'll make sure that I answer them for you. And I'll be more than happy to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we are going to go ahead and add our girl. So she's in our uploads. A lot of times I make folders. So the elements we're going to be using, she's going to, it's going to be in our uploads. In a different folder. Not the girl, but the actual elements. So this is why I make folders. So when I'm doing tutorials, it'll be easier to get to what I need to get to, right? Instead of taking all this time to get to where I need to go. Because I have tons and tons of uploads, as you can see. So I do apologize for that. So we're going to add this woman right here. And she's the one who has it covered. So I'm going to copy this font and I use uh, command C on my Mac to copy the font. This font is League Spartan. Okay, so that's the font. We're going to use for her. I'm sorry, for she's got it covered. That's the font we're going to use. And then we're going to add the font, the Girl Boss Calendar. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the font for that is going to be Great Vibe. So when I go ahead and make everything, I always want to make sure that everything is really neat and pretty because what's the point if it's not neat and pretty, right? <laughs> so we're going to change that font to white and then we're going to make it bigger. And every time I tell you, it's always multiple ways to do things. So we're going to make this font... Hmm, Play around with it. 144. Okay. Make sure we're on the right track. Yep, we're on the right track. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to just break it down a little bit. Seems like it's a little bit down on my original calendar. So we're going to bring it there. And then now we're going to start adding the elements. So this particular woman and as well as the elements that I'm going to use is going to be from Feathers of Style on Etsy. Okay, so that's who I use for this. And we're going to go ahead and I said we're going to make it easy. So we're going to do the couch and like the little nightstand. So on here, we're just going ahead and making it look really pretty because like I said, I like for things to look pretty. We're going to add these elements and then go into the actual calendar portion trying to make sure that I go over everything because people have asked for this tutorial but make sure I don't take so much of your time right that's what I'm trying to focus on making sure we get it done in a reasonable amount of time so we're going to go ahead and add this and then we're going to go down to the next page so now here's the cover of the calendar so cute I guess okay so now we're gonna change the background to that beautiful pink color and then we're gonna change the font to purple so that it can pop now what I did down here was I'm gonna copy and paste this she's got it covered And then we're going to just change the color of the font there. Okay, what I like to do, because I love quotes, love quotes, I deleted some of these. So I ungrouped them. And then I'm deleting some of the actual lines so that I can have space. So we can click it there and delete, or we can use it on our keyboard so it's up to you so then for each month i created a quote so a brand new year a brand new start and this font is code pro so for the sake of time i'm going to just copy and paste it in here if it will allow yep there you go if it'll allow me to and there we have it so now we have the first the first month and then we have the pretty colors and that's fine now the second month is going to be different because we're going to have to change the month i'm sorry we're going to have to change the days of the week colors so we don't want it that background we want it to be that pink the purple so for each month and i'm going to just take this copy command c on my macbook pro and paste it so it can be the in the exact same place then to make it easier i went ahead and i'm gonna group this command c i'm gonna copy it i'm gonna select this and do oh, control z make that come back i'm gonna delete that and then add this here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the next quote for February. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. So we can just take that and delete it. Okay. Now we have to change this so this can match. So we're going to select that and you see how the turquoise, we're going to make that purple. And if you want, you can make these purple too. We can ungroup it. And if you want, you can make the lines purple. As well. So yeah, we're going to make it, I like it purple. Let's put it back in place ungroup it make it purple and then when we group it the next time it'll already be purple okay so we could put notes 
etc down there so for each month that's all I did I went and I changed the color patterns for that added the girl but I also let me copy her so I copied her and I also put her down here so what I did was I copied her I made her smaller Not for her on the weekend. She like she going out on the weekend, right? <laughs> so I put her over on the weekend. And then I went ahead and went to the transparency. And I put her down to about 50. And I do that so when we print, you can see her, but she won't be so big. So I put her over in the corner so you can still see the days. But you can see her as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can make her bigger, smaller, whatever you prefer. Okay. Oh, that almost looked perfect. I didn't even know which one I was clicking on. So once again, we're going to command C and copy her. We're going to click the, you see how the entire thing is highlighted turquoise? Command v and paste her and then we really can do that for all of them so whatever we do we do for each and every month okay so that's how i made this calendar this particular calendar um it has the dates already there you can use calendars where they do not have the dates um but and you can just input them in. It's up to you. But this is how I made the She's Got It Covered Girl Boss Calendar. And then we literally just, I did the exact same thing for all of the months. And I added whatever quotes I wanted for each month. And I did the exact same thing. That is how I made the She's Got It Covered girl boss calendar in Canva. It was really simple. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure you go ahead and reach out to me. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.